Congressman Ro Khanna and Senator Bernie Sanders are targeting price gouging pharma companies, and the bill is awesome. So uh, look at this. The Prescription Drug Price Relief Act, this is from The Hill, would force drug companies to price medicines equal to or below the median price of the same drug in five countries. Canada, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and Japan. This legislation would lower drug prices for all Americans. In addition, regardless of the price in other countries, anybody who feels that their medicine is excessively priced can petition the government to lower the price. Most importantly, if companies refuse to lower their prices, then the federal government would allow generic competition in order to lower the price. Pharmaceutical corporations have spent decades wielding their political power against the best interests of the American people, with far too many members of Congress serving as their proxy employees. The result? Big Pharma's monopoly power and their explicit price gouging grows worse with every passing year. But at long last, the tide is beginning to turn. People are demanding an end to outrageous drug prices, and political leaders are listening. So, the most important point to make here is, I haven't seen nearly enough coverage on this in mainstream media. And this is something that's far too common, man, that we have these really, really, really important pieces of legislation proposed by the likes of Bernie Sanders and Ro Khanna, and there's just not enough talk about it. To be fair to the print outlets, they're not the problem, really, because the print outlets, I have seen plenty of articles on that, just in the same way I saw plenty of articles on the Stop Bezos Act and on the, you know, the, the Walmart bill that they proposed as well. Um, the problem is, on TV, um, whether it's CNN, MSNBC, obviously Fox News, ha, please, like, they cover it, um, and then you have the nightly shows, too, on CBS, ABC, NBC, and they just, it doesn't register for them, and this is one of those things where if these proposals got legs and got a lot of coverage and the American people knew that there were politicians out there, there are politicians out there fighting for them, that would have a giant impact. I think people would get more involved. And people would realize that there are problem solvers in the world, and they're just unfortunately largely ignored. And the other thing is, so the media is an abysmal failure on this front, but then also... Where's the rest of the Democratic Party? Where are you guys? Listen, there is no strategizing, or at least no strategizing that I see. When it comes to the Republicans, they will all meet, say, okay, what are our talking points for the day? They all absorb those points, and then they all go on the various shows and regurgitate them. And then it's so overwhelming the number of people that are making these arguments that mainstream media is forced to take it seriously. They're forced to, to, you know, present that as one of the sides of the argument, no matter how ridiculous or made up it is. It's like when the Republicans were saying, Medicare for all is Medicare for none. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> but it became a thing because they kept repeating it. They all kept repeating it. So they were, I guess the argument is that uh, if you give Medicare for everybody, uh, nobody gets Medicare. The Democrats, when you have proposals that make perfect sense, you don't have... First of all, the leadership of the Democratic Party is uh, against it, I would imagine. You know, Pelosi and Schumer, they're like, Ah! Going after Big Pharma! They're our donors! Why would you do that? But then also, even the uncorrupted Democrats, perhaps, uh, you know, many of the people in the pro Progressive Caucus, are, I, are they all getting on the same page and pushing this? No. And here's the most important point on this particular story. Donald Trump campaigned on lowering the cost of prescription drugs. He said it repeatedly, over and over, in, in many of his rallies. I was going to say all of his rallies. I don't know if it was all of them. But many of his rallies, he brought this up. And the crazy thing is, so Bernie had recently proposed an amendment to do the drug reimportation from Canada, which would cut the prices of our drugs about in half. 
Um, and what happened was, as soon as he proposed that, um, Trump had one meeting with pharmaceutical lobbyists, just one, totally flipped on everything he'd been saying. All it took was one meeting with pharmaceutical lobbyists, and he totally flipped. Now, nobody held his feet to the fire over that. Nobody was like, you just, you, but you s said the opposite on the campaign trail, and perhaps that's one of the reasons why you were elected, because that's part of his populist rhetoric. So, you can't do, what are you doing? You can't do that. What are you doing? You're going to go back on one of your uh, core promises that you made? What happened to the forgotten man and woman will never be forgotten again? What happened to that? What happened to I'll always look out for you? This is the stuff that Trump was saying on the campaign trail. I'm against the elites. I'm against the establishment. Apparently, you're big pharma's uh, puppet bitch. Apparently, that's what you are. Because you're acting like it. Now, here we have a case of, you know, here's the argument the Democrats can make. Okay, Trump said he didn't like that one bill to lower, or that one provision from Bernie to lower prescription drug prices. You know what? Fair enough. We don't agree with him, but fair enough. You don't like it. Fine. Well... Turns out, Congressman Ro Khanna and Senator Bernie Sanders, they got together. They heard your concerns, Mr. President. They know that you said you care about lowering drug prices, and they know that you don't believe in the other way that we try to do it. Well, here's a new way. We just proposed a new way. Very specific bill. And um, it achieves exactly what you say you want to achieve. So, obviously, you're going to support it, correct? I mean, if you don't, it's just, it's beyond obvious that you're a fraud and you're a liar. So you're going to support it, right? Now, listen, it shouldn't be up to, you know, left-wing YouTubers to make points like this. I need every single Democrat, the Democrats need to get together, have a meeting, call in everybody you know who's an elected official, sit down and say, okay, you have a Twitter account, you have a Twitter, we all have Twitter accounts, right? Okay, yes, we all have Twitter accounts. We're all going to tweet this out. We're all going to tweet in our, you know, we could fr phrase it however we want for each individual one of you, but... We're all going to say, hey, Mr. President, here's the bill to lower prescription drug prices. Bernie Sanders and Ro Khanna heard you out and they're proposing it. So you will support it, right? The Democrats don't know how to do this. Or they don't, many of them, let's be honest, don't care enough to do it because they're corrupt and they take money from big pharma. But there are many good Democrats who just aren't strategizing and aren't getting together. Bernie Sanders and Ro Khanna are doing a tremendous amount of heavy lifting. And they're getting not enough recognition for it, but also... We're not hurting the cats enough. The, the Democrats are not getting together and making these arguments. What did I tell you guys? One of the first things the Democrats should do with control of Congress, and I still believe this, and I told you they weren't going to listen to me. Of course they're not going to listen to me, but they should listen to me. If the Democrats listen to me, they'd have a supermajority in this country and it'd be a permanent supermajority. Um, they should propose a bill, now that the Democrats control Congress, and they say, listen, we're interested in bipartisan solutions. Nancy Pelosi said that, and everybody shit on her, but it was... Reasonable in that case, because what she means is we're going to compromise and I'm going to do all your ideas. Not the Republicans are going to do our ideas. But what I would say is, oh, okay, let's do some bipartisan solutions. Here's what we're going to do. Massive trillion dollar infrastructure deal, a new new deal. And we're going to call it the Make America Great Again Act. So all the Democrats just got together and proposed a giant infrastructure deal, a new new deal. It's called the Make America Great Again Act. And you submit it. You go here. Uh, you guys said you wanted to do an infrastructure deal. Here's an infrastructure deal. We're going to make America great again. We're going to rebuild our infrastructure, make it the best in the world. Uh, and we're going to pass it. Then you put pressure on the Senate, uh, on the Republicans in the Senate. I mean, what are we going to do? We're going to vote against the... One of the things Trump ran on was, air, you know, our airports are shitty. We got to fix our airports. So it's crumbling. It's like a third world nation with our infrastructure in this country. Okay, here's the solution. We proposed it. It's called the Make America Great Again Act. What are you going to vote against the Make America Great Again Act? Fine, but those are terrible optics. See, this is what... It always happens in the other direction. Oh, Patriot Act. They put pressure on you. Oh, I can't... I'm a patriot. I can't vote against patriotism. The right will always put pressure on the left. The left never puts pressure on the right. Well, there you go. Make America Great Again Act. Infrastructure deal. We just passed it. Your your turn. You go. M put them on... Make them go on the record. Uh, they voted against it. They voted against Then every Democrat can go out there and scream it from the rooftops until the 2020 election. They voted against the Make America Great Again Act, which is a new New Deal infrastructure bill. I thought they said, so it's, it was all a fraud. They're liars. Donald Trump is against lowering the cost of prescription drugs, even though he said it was he was for it. He's a liar. How? How do we know? We have the fucking evidence right here. We have the fucking it, bills that he didn't sign on to, that they voted against. 
but they're not going to do it. But anyway, I needed to tell you about Ro Khanna and Bernie Sanders' bill, because there are people who are fighting for you. But unfortunately, in many instances, it doesn't get legs, because the media doesn't cover it enough, and because there are there's no strong coalition that gets together on the Democratic side to really push these things in an effective way. And it's a damn shame.